Hi guys. We are on day three of the fermentation. And as you can see, they're still bubbling away good. And this is what I like to do on day three. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> but uh, get down in here. And give it a good mix up. It's just my little theory that Maybe there's a little bit of sugar that didn't quite get mixed up real well or, or something. The yeast do move through everything, but just in case. And you can see how that just foamed all up real hard like that. So I think that kind of helps that. And then from now on, I will leave the lids on the buckets and not not disturb them anymore. Uh, when, you, when you first start off fermenting, uh, you should aerate, you stir real hard, or dump it back and forth. I made that one spray water everywhere. Spray it back and forth, and uh, or dump it back and forth to uh, to get the uh, some air in the in the wash. Uh, that, that helps the yeast get started and it, but then they produce carbon dioxide uh, that's that's what's bubbling out and that, that kind of makes a layer across the top of the, the fermenter and that, that helps keep things sterile so uh, from now on and you can see see how it's it's picked up obviously when I stir it you see it all foam up and uh it's kind of chilly out right now. It's 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 in the fifties to forties. I mean, it's not that cold in here, but uh, it is San Diego. We don't have any heat going. Why why waste the money, right? Just put a blanket on, wear some sweats, and uh, uh, so it's a little chillier. So I'm on the lower end of. What, what the yeast like to work so they'll work a little slower and it, it'll take about 10 to 14 days to ferment and uh, I'm going to take you guys through the whole process when this gets to the very end I will take a quick video and show you the bubble slowing down and I will also uh, uh, show you what it looks like when it's done and while we're here this some uh, Things I've been kind of thinking about lately. Uh, Dory Miller. They they need an aircraft carrier after him. That that was such an awesome thing. Uh, uh, if you haven't seen the story or know anything about it, uh, he he was a black man that enlisted in the military in World War II, and he was a cook. He was at Pearl Harbor, and he was a hero. And uh, I'm not going to go into all the details, but Google it and check him out. Uh, the only other aircraft carrier that hasn't been named after a president was... I forgot the name, but the guy was a separatist and a, not a very good guy. Uh, but they went ahead and named a, an aircraft carrier after him anyway. He was a... Secretary of State, I think. I'm probably totally butchering that. <laughs> uh, he, he's just not the kind of person I want to get to know, so I don't remember his name. Uh, I, I don't don't think anything of him. So, but uh, uh, it shows a little progress. I mean, that's uh, so the 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 Navy and 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 the government, the politicians are uh, making making progress and improving so that's that's a good thing that's something we can feel good about and uh, then I think I think I'll shut her down it there and uh, that's just a quick little update and something neat to happen to have a positive thought for the day and that's about it so Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye.